We present GRASP Optimized Motion Planning for Fast Inertial Transport. Almost all commercial applications of robots optimize for speed of motion, but optimizing speed while carrying delicate objects remains an open problem. With very expensive vintage wines, it is essential to never spill even a single drop. This is problematic for busy restaurants with many thirsty customers. We call this the rushing sommelier problem. Robots can help, but how can robots with dynamic motions avoid spilling wine. To address this problem, we build on prior work that explored speeding up pick-and-place operations by incorporating dynamic limits and grasp optimization into an optimizing motion planner. The dynamic limits allowed for computation of time-optimal motions, while grasp optimization allowed for degrees of freedom in pick-and-place points, meaning it could go faster than time-optimal for fixed pick-and-place points. But moving robot arms fast while transporting something can have negative outcomes, such as spilling contents or breaking fragile objects. To address these negative outcomes, we propose incorporating end effector acceleration limits and formulate constraints using a recursive Newton-Euler computation. With these constraints, we limit angular difference between inertial accelerations and the angle needed to keep contents in the container. Here we show a container full of beads being transported by the proposed method, and again in slow motion. Depending on the fill level, we can relax or tighten this constraint. For example, while a near full container needed to be moved slowly, a partway full container can be moved much faster. In baseline animation experiments, we showed that slowing down the motion, limiting jerk, or both is insufficient to keep contents in the container. We also propose incorporating limits on magnitude of end effector accelerations to protect fragile or sensitive objects from shock. In this experiment, we have the robot hold an inertial measurement unit to measure the inertial forces at the end effector. Here we show the forces at the IMU. While prior work without limits on shock can lead to dangerous accelerations, such as exceeding the 2G limit we impose here, our proposed method can limit it to 2Gs successfully. In a final experiment, we revisit the rushing sommelier problem and test transport of wine in an open top container. For this experiment, we do not test baselines for safety and to avoid stain cleanup. 